Mythbusters is here thanks to a robot. Uh, in the early days of Robot Wars, we had created this robot named Blendo. And the thing about Blendo was that we would drive out into the arena, the opponent would drive out, the opponent would generally explode, and we would be asked to leave. <laughs> Something to do with shrapnel landing in the audience. Uh, this happened a couple of years in a row, and they gave us the heavyweight championship at the same time, and so on. But the point was that, that we became notorious. We were the bad boys of robotic combat in the early days. And this caught the attention of a documentary filmmaker who some years later would have an idea to do a show about urban legends that would become Mythbusters. Now, let me tell you about Blendo the Robot. This is a picture of it. Just like with our experiments with hammers, once you start to accelerate a mass, the force that you can apply uh, increases dramatically. But in the case of a 10-pound sledgehammer moving 20, maybe 20 miles an hour, it's enough to break the brick. In this case, uh, Blendo's exterior weighed 150 pounds. It spun at 500 RPM. The blades were traveling at about 80 miles per hour. And if you do the math on it, it was equivalent when it contacted the other robot of it being contacted by a chunk of steel the size of my, my fist moving the speed of sound. <laughs> so, needless to say, it was, uh, it was pretty impressive. Uh, at any rate, I went on to become a mythbuster, as did Adam, and Blendo was retired a heavyweight champion. <laughs> Ladies and 
energy future. There he is! Ta-da! Thank you very much, sir. You can head over here.